quickly say something, just quickly? Sure. Sorry, sorry. I just want to say this because I, I, I feel so strongly about it. Sure. And that's in regards to polygyny. Um, I feel really saddened to see that most of our sisters will not are not willing to share their husbands. They have a good husband. Okay, if you've got a bad husband, no worry. Nobody nobody wants to share him anyway. But if you've got a good husband, there's a lot of there are a lot of good sisters out there that need a husband. They're lonely. They need companionship. But yet, sisters, love for your sister what you love for yourself, but don't include my husband in that. And this whole mentality of a westernized mindset that we follow this um, Hollywood romantic one love, one person uh, idea is not the sunnah. And it's not the way men are built either. Men are polygynous. Most men, if they could have a second wife, they would. I th if they could have it easy, if they had enough finances, if the first wife wasn't going to give them grief, etc., etc., they would have a second wife. I don't doubt it. But yet the women are um, blocking it. And I really wish that maybe you can have a great discussion, live discussion about that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Zakala Khair for that comment. Inshallah, we will have a live session dedicated to that, inshallah. Um, but no comment, at least <laughs> from me for this uh, discussion today on polygyny. But I you know, commend the sister in making these remarks because people forget that it's a part of Islam and there's a lot of good that can come from polygyny. Uh, it's a sunnah in in a way, mashallah. So. Can I address something that she said? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we want to go to the next call. Is it? Um, is, we'll have another. Rick. We'll have another call or another session on on polygyny. It's not polygyny at all. Okay, mash. <laughs> okay.